Hey everybody, I'm Janelle A. Seely Smith, celebrity hairstylist for everyone. I'm here with Janet Collection to show you a new package that you can't wait to see. It is called the Easy DIY Kit. What's in a DIY kit? Let me tell you all about it. First of all, do you know what DIY stands for? It stands for do it yourself. How many of you are a DIY type? Yeah, you're the type that likes to do things yourself, which means make your own wig. You want to go to the store and not have to go and ask, where's the caps? Where's the needles? Where's the thread? Instead, you can have it all in one box, one kit. And the hair is included. Whew. So I can't wait for you guys to see what's in the box. Let me open it up. All right, so let me let you know what's in the clip. First of all, right on the side, it explains that we have three bundles. Okay, three bundles of hair. And it's virgin hair. That means you can dye it. You can perm rod, curl it. You can change the shape of it because it's virgin, 100% human hair. It also has a 13 by four full frontal, and sometimes it may have a four by four closure. So that's pretty cool. In this kit, you have your two needles. You have T-pins for your dome head. You also have a, a mesh net dome cap. You also have two duck bills, thread, and lace front glue. Where they do that at? It's innovative. Can you imagine? All in one box. All right, let's open it up and really take a look. It's a game changer. Check this out. First of all, let's talk about the packaging. How neat. All of it is together. Our frontal is laid really smooth so it protects the hair. I love the color of the lace, which is very important. We know that lace matching with different complexions is so important. This is so dope. All right, so 13 by four. This pack is 16, 18, and 20 inch hair, all right? Straight hair, virgin hair. We're gonna open it up so we can get to see the quality of it. And our kit. This right here is the biggest part of the game changer. There's nobody selling it like this. By the way, this is patented, so you can't try to make it, all right? Three needles, thread, glue, cap, duck bills, everything all here. So when you walk into the store, boom, just pick up your DIY kit. How awesome. All right, let me explain a little bit about this cap. First of all, it's ventilated. It's net, it's mesh. It has the elasticity that we need that can fit all size heads, including this wonderful, beautiful size head of mine. You could now see that it has, do you see this part here? This will help to protect your hairline, one, help for it to not slide back. That's so important. It also has the hooks, so if you want to make it a little bit smaller, you can do that. And the most, the best part of it for me is the elasticity. This way it can fit all size heads and you won't have any issues, okay? Dumbbell, so important to be able to hold it up as we work on it and I'll be showing you how to do it. And in your kit, you have your T-pins, you have your C needles. Most of us work with C needles when we do our wigs. I'll show you the best way to do it, the best way to hold your needles, so this way you could be able to create the best customized wig. Easy and easy is the name of it. Can you imagine? Thread and a little bit of lace front glue. You guys gotta try this one out. This glue, not only does it have hold, it's also easy to remove, it's quick to dry. You're gonna love this glue, okay? And for a bonus, you get to get some of their rose oil. This oil is so great. It smells so good. It's lightweight. It gives the hair a little bit of shine. And the most important thing, it smells good. And you know, with working with wigs and weaves, you want to also use a product that's lightweight and also smells good. Let's get to work. I'm excited to show you this kit. This is the DIY kit by Janet Collections. What's in this kit? You have a mannequin head, you see? And it's made out of cork, all right? That's the awesome thing. Inside of this also comes with many things. Let me show you. All right, this is your box that has all of your tools, okay? In this DIY kit, you have, again, your glue, your thread, your cap. Let's open it up. Oh, I love this cap. It's ventilated. Amazing. Elasticity. 
And in this cap, you also have combs with it. Plus, you have the adjustable strap so you can make your cap smaller. Your mannequin headstand. T-pins and your C-needles. And your duck clips. All perfect in one kit. And let's not forget the star of the whole show. This is our court canvas mannequin head. All right, let's get this party started. All right, so sometimes you might be making a wig for yourself or you may have a client. Hi, beautiful. Hi. <laughs> so now the great thing about it, I wanted you to see, first of all, my girl has a lot of hair. So we just cornrowed it in two cornrows, tucked her braid in, and threw a stocking cap on. Now, we're going to see if this fits her. Again, with the adjustable straps, you could, if you're gonna use them, you could go ahead and hook it. If you're not gonna use it, you could go ahead and cut them off. It's all up to you. I'm just gonna hook it on the widest area so that it won't come out. And we have our comb. Okay, my love, if you could put your hand right here. Just amazing. I want you guys to see how Breathable, right to her ear. Went over all of her hair, landed smoothly, beautifully on her neck. And the same thing on the other side. Perfect fit. So now, I'm gonna take my lace frontal and I'm just gonna put it right above, right? So that I could have some of the her forehead to lay as natural as possible. And the rest of it is a perfect fit. That's the thing you need to know before you make a customized wig, okay? Thank you, my love. I'll be with you shortly. So let's get it started. I've placed my cap on the head, and now I'm gonna take my T-pins to just hold it in the location I want to. I want you to notice, at first, I'm gonna just place my T-pins here, but I left room on her forehead. Remember I said I wanted to push it back a little? So I'm gonna do that. Now I'm gonna take my lace frontal, which comes in the pack, game changer, and put it right in the front. So as you can see, the cap is back here and the frontal will be more in front. So you'll see like about a half an inch, not even a whole inch gap. And that's basically what I measured on her head. Now take another T-pin, just to hold the lace in the front. And I'll adjust as I sew. Oh my gosh, what am I gonna do? I need a duck bill clip. There was one in the kit. I'm gonna use it to hold the hair back so I can see where to sew. Okay, so at first I'm gonna, you, we honestly don't need all of this lace. I will secure part of it and then I'll just cut off the excess lace. It's good to have, some of you may wanna keep it, but if you don't, go ahead and cut it off. All right, I already threaded my needles and I'm ready to go. I'm gonna stop on one side, cut, go to the other side, secure it before I even secure the middle. This way I can make sure that it's not pulled back, pushed back. Alright, how perfect. Now I'm secured in the front and the back. I'm going to take up my T-pins and place it in a different location. Alright, so I'm going to bring it forward a little bit. Okay, 
so I could start working on the back and the cap could be nice and snug to the back of my mannequin canvas head. I put a T-pin in the back on both sides. And I'll put one at the top. Now I'll just cut off the excess lace. I'm gonna start sewing here and I'll continue to go. So we're at the point now where we have to connect the lace. I made sure I have enough space in the front. The whole back is done. I'm going to use my track to connect the lace. So we're at our last track. I like to have my last track go right around the edge of the lace. This way it'll be seamless from the lace here to the track here. I did it myself. I'm finished. Look at this. We have our own customized wig. We did it ourselves, DIY. It was so easy. We had our canvas, our needles, our thread, our T pins, our ductiles. We had the cap. We had the hair. What else do you need? We have everything. So now my wig is done. Time for me to put it on my model. Okay, so I cleaned her hairline. I put the wig on. I didn't completely sew it. I'm gonna sew down the edges because she already has her own baby hair for her temple. But right around here, I'm gonna go ahead and glue it on. So I'm gonna be using the Escher Absolute. And a little goes a long way, so don't over squeeze. And I wanna do two layers of it. So I'll start off with the first layer, not over by her um, sideburns. just on the hairline where I want the, the lace to lay. Oh yeah, and just like that. This is not even magic, this is just easy. Beautiful. All right, so now let's apply our lace. Can you hold right here for me? What I'm gonna do now that my lace is laid, I'm gonna stitch down the sideburns. Yay! 
because she has her sideburns and you could already see how natural that looks. All right, let's cut off the glue, the lace, I mean. Okay, so now I'm thinking about a center part. What are you thinking? Good. I'm gonna set her and prep her and we'll be right back. All right, it's time to lay down the baby here. Today I'm gonna just be using a little bit of molding mud for my edge control, something soft that she could have mobility with. Nothing too hard. You could use whatever your preference is. Do it yourself. <laughs> DIY, check this out. Did you see how that happened? All right, you go to the beauty supply store, you get your one kit and you can create this beautiful look. Her hair is protected underneath so easily it was put on. I mean, what else do you want? This is a game changer. You guys get with it. Go to the store, go get your easy DIY or your regular DIY kit. Or if you want, just go ahead and get your cork mannequin head. Are you ready to see it? Yes, I am so excited. Oh my gosh, it looks so good. Tell you. Know, I was really concerned like if my head is gonna be too hot or anything, but the cap, like it's really good. Good. It has nice ventilation and everything, and the glue is holding. Ew, okay. I have to go out tonight. <laughs> That's right. I love it. It looks so good. Yep. I mean, even though you didn't make it on her head, it's custom right for her head. Easy to do. I love it. Good. <laughs> All that you want. I'm Janelle Seely Smith. I hope you enjoyed.